Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob. With me. Where am I? Where am I? There I am. With me. Rob. A bit off. That's me and Ringo. Dressed as monsters. Disguised as monsters, I should say. In the new Draw With Rob book, Monster Madness. Now, I'm a children's author and I'm a children's illustrator. Maybe you've seen this. This was my very first book. My first picture book. And it's called Blown Away. It's all about Penguin Blue here who goes out flying his kite on a very windy day and ends up getting blown away. And he ends up somewhere that penguins aren't usually found. He ends up in the jungle. And they have to think of a clever way of getting back home again. And I want to tell you about this, which is my very first novel, my very first children's chapter book. And it's called Peanut Jones and the Illustrated City and it's out in September. 2021 so not long to go I'm super excited about this book it's all about this little girl called peanut who finds let's see if I can show you what she finds where is it where is it I don't even know where it is in my own book here we go she finds one day a let me get there eventually <gasps> there it is a pencil a magical pencil in fact look I could have just shown you that there it is on the spine she finds this pencil and she realizes that whatever she draws with this pencil comes to life so look she draws an apple this is her friend Rockwell you can pick it up and you can eat it so then she thinks right well what would happen one day if I drew a door with that pencil and I open that door and she walks through the door and look she ends up in a totally illustrated world and it's a super fun story. Look, there's loads of illustrations in it. Absolutely loads. So I think you're going to really, really enjoy it. I'm super proud of it. and I can't wait for you to read it. But that's enough about that. Because today we are doing a drawing together. Where's my piece of paper? Here we go. Let's see if I can get it in the middle first time. There we go. That's not bad, is it? And I'm really, really excited because that book that I just told you about, Peanut Jones, doesn't come out till September. But I have another brand new book that has just come out and that book is you saw a little flash of it earlier that book is this it's the brand new draw with rob activity book it's called monster madness and it's full of loads of monstery type draw alongs and activities and things for you to do like there's little puzzle things there is oh this is cool it's like a mix and match kind of monster game so you can cut all these things out draw your own monsters and then you can put them together to make mix and match kind of frankenstein monsters but there's all sorts of things you can do there's bits where you have to kind of do some of the drawing as i said draw alongs there's puzzles there i don't know there's loads of stuff if you want to have a more detailed look at that stick around to the end of the video where i sort of show you things in a bit more detail but i thought because this book has only just come out that we should draw one of the monsters from the book today and it should be one of the ones that there isn't a draw along for in the book so it's a special exclusive one just for the videos and we i decided because the book is out like this week we should draw the book monster okay there's a character in the book called the book monster who makes a little appearance towards the end of the book so i thought it might be nice if i showed you how to draw him or her oh hang on can you wait a second because Ringo the dog is just about to bark to come in he's standing at look there he is did you hear that a little bark Let's see if we'll do it again you gonna bark Ringo doesn't like barking on cue but anyway he wants to come in he's standing outside the door so hang on let me just let him in hang on Ringo come on there in you come in you come you're gonna get in your bed you get in your bed I've just finished recording this video for the boys and girls right Sorry about that, guys. What a rude interruption. Right, where were we? Yes, the book monster. The book's out. I thought I'd show you how to draw the book monster. So just in case you haven't done a draw with Rob video with me before, this is how they work. Oh, what are you doing now? Can you hear him scratching? He's scratching his... Do you, does you, if you have a dog, does your dog do this strange thing where just before they lie down, they sort of like burrow into their bed? Do you, does my dog, he, he always does that. He's doing it right now. I don't know what you think you're gonna do, Ringo. Just lie down. Just lie down. Stop making such a fuss. Oh, it's all about, it has to always be about Ringo, doesn't it? <laughs> right, in case you haven't seen one of these videos before, this is how it works. We're going to do this drawing together. I'm going to break it down into little bite-sized pieces for you, so hopefully it's nice and easy for you to follow. Because some people just, you know, if I showed you the finished picture of the book monster, you might think there's no way I can draw that because it looks quite complicated. But if I break it down into little step-by-step -step stages, you'll see... 
that it's easy to draw. In fact, anyone can draw it. Anyone can draw, that's what I say. So, what you're gonna need is a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm gonna draw a little bit of the drawing on my piece of paper. Pause this video, copy what I do. Start me up again, I'll draw a bit more. Pause me, you draw. Start me up, I draw. You draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And at the end, we'll end up with a lovely picture of the book Monster. Right, now then. It's a bit fiddly, this one, but I know you are equal to the task. We are going to start, okay, about, let's say, three quarters of the way down the page, slightly over to one side, over to the left-hand side, I want you to draw a C shape, like that. So sort of like a cross between a C shape and a kind of half moon shape, okay? Then from this end, we are going to turn around and we are going to follow that back to about there, okay? Still sort of C-shaped, but with one end open, okay? And then, this is where we get a little bit fiddly now, but I know you can do it. We are gonna draw a zigzagging line. And we're gonna keep going with our zigzag quite a long way up our page. We're gonna go to about there, okay? So, you know, that gap is about the same as that gap. Then, from the top of our lovely zigzag line, we are gonna go across the top of our page in a sort of curve, like that. And we want to finish at roughly the same height on that side as that side, okay? And then guess what, we're gonna do some more zigzags. This is where I'm gonna, I'm worried about smudging mine. Do you know what I'm gonna do so I don't smudge? I'm turning it upside down. You don't have to do this, but I am going to do it. So we're going to go up the page. Or sort of down the page if you haven't turned your piece of paper upside down. It's very confusing, isn't it? But we're going to zigzag all the way down. And this time we're just going to go a little bit past that bit there. So when it's the right way up, it looks like that. So your zigzag, can you see it sort of coming in at the bottom, this zigzag? The reason this is zigzag is because this is our monster's body and our monster is a little bit furry. So one way you can make things look furry is to do sort of zigzaggy edges. Now then, I want you to imagine that zigzag has continued past our sort of C-shaped thing, like that, but then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna head along the bottom. But we're not gonna do a smooth line, we're gonna do an up and downy zigzaggy line all the way along the bottom, like that, and join up. There, so we've got, it's sort of like a, what do you call it? Is it a rhombus? I never know this, I always think I need to look it up. It's, it might be a rhombus. Um, so it's a rhombus, three sides of which are zigzaggy. Okay, and then it's got this funny weird C-shaped thing here. Okay, so I think that's the hardest bit. Okay, we've got it out of the way right at the beginning. Everything else is pretty straightforward. What we're going to do is over on this side, so about level with where this part of the C joins the zigzag, so about here, I want you to draw a curved line that just comes down like that. Okay. Then we're going to carry on, turn around and follow it back up and just join up with the side like that. Then this is going to be an arm, so we're going to add some claws and they're just like little triangles. We're gonna do one thumb one and then we're gonna do four others. Two, three, four, like that. And let's do the same here because this is the other arm but this arm is bent. So we're gonna do the thumb there and then we're gonna do one, two, three, four. And they can be either claws or fingers, however you want to look at them. Okay. Right, let's give our book monster some legs. So first of all, we are gonna draw a vertical line. One vertical line coming down from the middle. At the bottom of that, we are just gonna turn very slightly around like that, not very far. Then we are gonna draw a similar sort of triangle shape to those finger stroke claws. But we're gonna do it coming down at an angle like that and the end is gonna be sort of slightly rounded, okay? Then we're gonna draw another one next to it at a slightly different angle, so slightly flatter, like that. And then the last one is gonna be not horizontal, but getting towards horizontal, like that. And then 
from here, we're going straight up. And that is going to be one, one of our book monsters, Little Legs. Let's do the same, but a mirror image. So we're going to come down, we're going to go across, we're going to do our triangle like that. We're going to do another one like that. And then one last one sticking out there. And then we're going to go back up. And there we go. Two little monstery legs like that. So yes, this one is a little bit fiddly, but as I said, I just know you're equal to the task. Now you might be asking yourself, why is this arm curled, curled around like that and this one is just down by the monster's side? Well, that's because he or she is gonna be holding something. Now they're called the book monster. What do you think they might be holding? That's right, a book. Okay, so we need to draw a book. This is how we do the book. First of all, we are gonna draw a rectangle shape behind that arm and at a slight angle like that and that is basically going to be our book but to make it look a bit more booky what we do is we add a sort of lozenge shape at the top like that to make it look a bit bookish and then let's just add some really thin lines like that and there we go our book monster is holding clutching a book to his or her chest okay fun bit coming up now we're going to give first of all let's give our book monster a nice smiley mouth so we're going to draw let's draw like a big sausage shape coming down next to the book slightly sort of curving up at each end but essentially a sausage shape now i'm going to flip pens to a thinner pen here because i want to give my monster little lips so I'm just gonna follow my sausage shape around, just inside like this, just to give our monster little lips like that. Okay, now time for teeth. Okay, here we go. Teeth, little semicircles, loads of them. Like that, all the way along the top of the mouth. There we go. And let's give him some at the bottom as well. These ones are gonna be very slightly smaller because our teeth are slightly smaller, aren't they, at the bottom? So maybe monster's teeth are the same. Who knows? Here we go. A nice smiley mouth. Now what we need to do is color this bit in, okay? In between. So you've gotta be very careful. It's not a big area to color, but you want to make sure you don't go over the edges of your teeth because we need to leave them nice and white, don't we? So carefully just go in between in and out like that make sure try not to go over the edge of the lips we want to keep them clear as well so we might want to color them a bit later if you don't have any colors don't worry you can just shade it in with whatever you're drawing the main bit with especially if it's a pencil Pen pencils are really nice just to do some shading there we go a lovely smiley monstery mouth okay now the book monster how many eyes do you think the book monster has because eyes are very important to book monsters. Did you know this? Because they need eyes to read all the books that they have to read and they read a lot of books. So this particular book monster that we are drawing today has got a lot of eyes. In fact, I'm not gonna tell you how many eyes because it's totally up to you. If you want, you could give your book monster one big eye. If you want, you can give them two normal size eyes like that. But my book monster is gonna have loads of eyes, all different sizes, and they're gonna fill up that whole space. So what you're gonna do, I'll show you how to draw one. Let's do one right, let's do one right in the middle here. This is how you do one eye. You draw a circle. Then inside that circle, we draw another circle, smaller one like that. Then inside that, we do another one up towards the top left. And then we just color in around that. And then we add three little lines. And that is one of our book monster's eyes. But as I said, I'm gonna do loads of them. So I'm gonna go into super speed mode now and do my eyes. You can do as many or as few as you want, but I will see you back here in a couple of seconds with a lot of book monster eyes, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, there we go. There is my book monster and his or her multiple eyes. And do you know what? That's pretty much it for the outline the outline, the outline, the outline of our book monster. Now's the fun bit because we get to colour our book monster in. Now, 
I am gonna color mine. I think mine's mainly gonna be blue with a bit of green and a bit of yellow here and there. And, um, but you know, it's a monster. The fun bit about monsters is you can do your monsters any color you like. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Hopefully, we're gonna have a whole rainbow of book monsters at the end of this drawing session. So I can't wait to see what you do. I'm gonna go into super speed mode again to color my monster in. So I will see you back here in 20 or 30 seconds, okay? Right, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so there is my finished book monster, coloured in. So, I will show you, look, shall I show you where the book monster is in the book? If you go right to the end of the book, right to the end, almost the last page, there's a very cool merry monster match activity where you have to match up the monsters with the things that they, you think they might use. And look, there is our friend, the book monster, Booky Blue, he's called, and there is my one. So you can see I've done the same colour scheme as the one in the book. He's blue. He's got green arms and legs, a little blue book and nice yellow eyes. And you can see, you can see lots of my, um, my uh, pencil marks are in the fur to make it look nice and furry. And yeah, there we go. But I can't wait to see what you guys have come up with. So do you know how I get to see your drawing? Oh, nearly forgot something. We've got to sign it, haven't we? Here we go. Rob. Don't forget to sign your drawings. Everyone should know who creates these wonderful works of art. So yes, I would like to see your lovely colourful drawings. So get your grown up to take a picture of your drawings and post it on social media using this hashtag here, draw with Rob. That way I will get to see it. Fun one, it's fun. Um, and there's so much stuff in that, that Draw with Rob Monster Madness book that um, there's loads of details. This one, I took me a long time to do all the drawings. There's lots of little details and lots of bits and pieces for you to do and for you to find. So you should check that out. It's out now, as I've said. You can get it from wherever you get your books. Ideally, you should support your local bookshop. That's what I think. But you can get it anywhere online or at any shop. So go and check it out. Um, I've had so much fun showing you how to draw the book monster today. I hope you've enjoyed um, drawing along with me. Can you see all these little smudges and things that I've done? Look. Look, all over my hand. It doesn't matter. Don't, if that happens to you, don't rip your drawing up and start again. Keep on drawing. It's part of it, isn't it? It's part of the drawing. So I hope you've had fun drawing this with me today. If you hang around until after the credits, you will have a, I will, I'll give you a closer look inside the uh, Monster Madness book so you can check it out and see if it's something that you'd like to get. Um, in the meantime, everybody, keep on drawing, keep on reading, take care of yourselves, and I will see you again very soon. Okay, bye-bye. Just when you thought you got rid of me, here I am again, popping up at the end of your video, and I'm here to tell you all about the brand new Draw With Rob activity book. It's called Draw With Rob Monster Madness. And I think you're really gonna like it. I mean, of course, inside you are going to meet him, her, don't forget about him, and of course, my favorite, her. So listen, this book is full of puzzles. Um, it's got lots of things where I've started off the drawing and you guys need to finish it off. We have got mix and match monster games in there. We've even got like a monster party invite kit for you to use for your own monster parties. As well as that, we've also packed it full of the regular drawer alongs all of which you get a little picture frame you can do your drawing in and there's perforated edges for you to tear the pages out, stick them up on your fridge or send them out to your relatives. And then of course, once you've finished the book, you qualify for this exclusive 
monster artist certificate that you get to fill in, frame it and put it up on your wall. Now this book I think is perfect for any little monsters out there. And guess what? It's out now. You can get it right now from wherever you get your books. So go and have a look online or better still visit your local bookshop. Right. I'm gonna go now properly, let you get on with your day. Thanks so much for drawing along with me. Don't forget, check out this book and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.